What's up everyone, it's Caddy with Money Vesting. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the put call ratio or <clears throat> take yourself PCC. And there was a very, very interesting chart shared in our Discord, did some more research, looked at it on TradingView as well. And that is true, that is correct. We are now at the highest level for put call ratios ever since the index has been created to track the volume of puts versus the volume of calls. So in a very simple term, the put call ratio is nothing but the number of puts divided by the number of calls. If that number is above one, that means there's more put options open versus call options. Very logical, very straightforward. So if there's more put options open, the ratio will be above one, pretty much kind of suggesting or indicating that there's more bearishness. At least that's where the sentiment is because a lot of investors are buying a lot of put options versus if the ratio is below one, that means there's more call options open and there's more bullishness or the sentiment at least is for a lot of investors to be buying calls. Um, <clears throat> still sick. I'm still under the weather, so I'm kind of working through it. Thank you so much for your guys' patience. Before we get any further, make sure that you drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time. And the link to our Discord and Patreon is also going to be down below if you're interested in joining. Tomorrow is the last day. Actually, tomorrow is, yeah, tomorrow is December 31st. Um, and tomorrow's the last day if you want to take advantage of that 16% annual discount. Link's going to be down below. Very limited times, uh, very limited spots left and very limited time left if you want to join our Patreon and our Discord as well. So this right here was the actual uh, screenshot shared, which is, uh, you know, pretty much we're not only above one, we're over two at 2.4. At least that's where we were. We have come down a little bit from those levels, but the uh, equity put volume uh, reached a record 2.36 uh, million and is higher than it was in 2008 during the highs of the financial crisis and put volume on single stocks and ETFs were 2.1 million, the most on record on December 22nd. And the put call ratio, the equity put call ratio, which is a reflection of options trading volume, suggested uh, surge to a record high on Thursday, um, December 22nd as well. So this is a little bit of an older um, sort of a screenshot, but there's another one that's really interesting is how it has been an indicator for potential market bottoms. And I'll go over that in just a minute, but you can actually go over to your trading view um, and you can see that for yourself where you'll notice that it is at the highest level. This one's a little bit adjusted because it's an index, so it's a little bit adjusted here. Uh, but you'll notice that we actually did get up to a high of 2.4, as it says. I'm not sure why it's not showing up visually, but this is the highest level that we've seen. There we go. All right, so on the daily, we did get up to 2.4 levels for the equity uh, put call ratio. And you'll notice that this is the, in fact, the highest level uh, we've ever been for this entire index. The highest we've ever gone to is 1.39 back in 2008. Um, and then this right here, a couple times, uh, you know, during March of 2020, during the COVID crash or the pandemic, we got up to 1.28. And take a look at this insane amount of volatility getting up to over 2.4 just an amount of bearishness and put options in the market was incredibly, incredibly large. So <clears throat> we have seen, uh, of course, the markets rally today. And, and this does suggest that there might just be a little bit of a potential for a short squeeze, right? Because as, as many investors have bought put options or are bearish on the market, or maybe even shorting stocks can lead to a potential squeeze that can lead to more potential upside in the market. And this is a little bit of a contrarian indicator, right? It's not it's not so to speak that it's not uh, so cut and dry that if the market sentiment is bearish, that means the market's gonna go down. In fact, you know, it's a contrarian indicator that if everybody's bearish and everybody's bought put options and this put call ratio is way above two, that means that can actually lead to some more upside, right? That can lead to some more bullish activity in the stock market and vice versa, where everybody's bullish, everybody's buying calls uh, and the put call ratio is way under one, that can lead to more potential downside, right? So it's a little bit of a contrarian indicator. And this right here is a very good chart, particularly by stock charts uh, today, that pretty much suggested how this put call ratio has also identified with potential market bottoms in the past. This is an inverted scale. So we're not actually looking at the same thing as on my trading view, because if I invert this, right? So if you kind of invert this right now, um, Christmas mode, what is that? I don't, I didn't even know that. Uh, anyway, so if we invert this chart, I think it's going to be from over here, invert scale. That's what they're looking at. That's what they have over here, um, on, on this chart right here. So that's going to be, um, this right here, right? So that's the purple line that we see purple slash pinkish line. And they've identified areas back in 20, um, 2019. This right here was back in, 
2020. Uh, and this right here is exactly where we are um, at the moment. And of course, going back as far as 2008 uh, as well as the market pretty much did bottom around that time, the put call ratio was uh, significantly higher. So uh, again, you know, obviously there's some analysis, there's some indication that this might actually end up being uh, a little bit of a market bottom if of course, this put call ratio starts to uh, starts to push back, push back down. In other words, comes comes right under uh, one. But that being said, definitely an insane amount of bearishness can lead to potential market squeezes. Obviously, down fifty three percent because the stock market was up, right? So when the market pushed up three percent, uh, two and a half close to three percent for the Nasdaq, we saw the put call ratio come back down, and that can be the short squeeze momentum that we're seeing once again. So keep that in mind. Uh, obviously, the volatility is not that change like it's very unchanged right now so it's only up a little bit over three percent so we're seeing a lot of consolidation for uh, the vix so it's pretty much kind of hovering around between 23 25 to as low as 20. so right now what we're seeing is the vix kind of coil in closer and closer to potentially giving us a bigger move uh, going into 2023 so we'll find out what happens during the last trading day of 2022 and of course lots of things to focus on going into next year as well so let me know your thoughts on this we are starting to rotate back down a little bit but very very interesting sort of analysis from stock charts and just this um <clears throat> indicator kind of going up to over 2 and 2.4 is just an extreme level uh, that we haven't really seen in pretty much ever um, from the uh, put call ratio. Uh, and of course, the amount of put options, the amount of bearishness in the market has been very apparent. It's been very clear. Um, and you know that's, that's the market that we're dealing with. But nonetheless, we are expected to close down on the year S&P down close to uh, uh, 20 percent a little bit under 20 percent 19.4 the nasdaq will close down about 35 percent or so 33 34 percent and the dow jones will close down just under nine percent on the year uh, unless of course in the final trading day of 2022 something catastrophic happens or something magical happens uh, those those losses are pretty much set set in stone for 2022 so thank you so much for joining i really appreciate it as always if you enjoyed this video found it helpful make sure that you drop a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time the link to our discord and patreon is going to be down below um and also don't forget the link to our discord and patreon is going to be down below for 16 percent discount that does expire tomorrow and the fundamental and technical analysis courses the bundle is currently 60 percent off coupon code new year and that also expires on january 1st and after that, that biggest discount will just go away. So if you want to take advantage of that, the link's going to be down below if you're interested. As always, happy investing, and I will see you all in the next video.